ratios and proportions part 3 hi i'm daniel souza and welcome to aptitude academy this is part 3 on lecture on ratio and proportions here's the first sum problem 1 if 2a is equal to 3b is equal to 4c then a is to b is to c is all right now for the first sum they've given 2a is equal to 3b is equal to 4c and they've asked you what is a is to b is to c so when you get this type of a problem what do you do is you equate this to some number right they're saying 2a is equal to 3b is equal to 4c but they've not said it's equal to what so you can just keep it as x so we keep 2a is equal to 3b is equal to 4c is equal to x right now we'll find what is a what is b what is c and take the ratio and then simplify that to get our answer so by this thing you can say 2a is equal to x so a is equal to x by 2 right similarly you can say 3b is equal to x so b is equal to x by 3 and 4c is equal to x so c is equal to x by 4 now you will take the ratio so a is to b is to c is a is to b is to c is equal to x by 2 a is to x by 3 b is to x by 4 right all right now we we'll just rewrite this x by 3 x by 2 x by 2 is to x by 3 is to x by 4 now in ratios you don't want them to have any denominator so what we'll do is we'll multiply it with some number that will get rid of this the best way to do it is to multiply it by the lcm of all the denominators now the lcm of the denominator is 12 right so you multiply 12 throughout so 12 into x by 12 uh, x by 2 is to 12 into x by 3 is to 12 into x by 4 now since you've multiplied it throughout it will not change the ratio so 2 ones are 2 sixes are 3 ones are 3 fours are 4 ones are 4 threes so it becomes 6x is to 4x is to 3x or 6 is to 4 is to 3 This is a is to b is to c. This is your final answer. Let's move on to problem number two. Problem two: If a by three is equal to b by four is equal to c by five, then a is to b is to c is. All right. Now the second problem seems super simple because you've done the first problem. Now, can you guess the answer here? It's going to be three, four, five. So let's equate this to some x, right? So a by three is equal to b by four is equal to c by five. Is equal to some x. So now a by three is equal to x implies a is equal to three x, right? B by four is equal to x, so b is equal to four x. C is equal to five x, right? Similarly, so now we have to write a is to b is to c. That will be three x is to four x is to five x, which is in fact three is to four is to five. Now these problems are seeming super simple, isn't it? Let's go into problem number three. Problem three: If fifteen percent of x is equal to twenty percent of y, then x is to y is. All right. Now problem three: They've said that fifteen percent of x is equal to twenty percent of y. So what is x is to y? Now let's not waste time in finding out what is x and what is fifteen percent of x and what is y and what is twenty percent of y. Let's just do it the fast method. All right. Now fifteen percent is what fifteen over hundred. All right. Of x means into x. That's all. So similarly, twenty percent is twenty over hundred into y, right? Now, what is the basic definition of a ratio? Basic definition of a ratio is that x is to y is in fact equal to x by y. That is the definition of a ratio, right? So we just need to find x by y. That's all. So hundred is here, hundred is here, gets cancelled. So x by y, you take y down, fifteen goes down here. So twenty over fifteen, five threes are five fours are, implies. X is to y is equal to four is to three. That's it. Let's go to problem number four. Problem four: If point seven five is to x is the same as five is to eight, then x is equal to. All right. Now problem four says that point seven five is to x is the same as five is to eight. So what is x? Now this problem revolves around the property of proportions that says. The product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. Now, the extremes, as I have explained in my earlier lecture, is these two terms, the outer terms, and the inner terms are known as the means. So it says that the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. 
So now P extremes is 0.75 into 8. So 0.75 into 8 is equal to product of the means. So the inner terms x into 5. So you have 0.75 into 8 is equal to 5x. So implies x is equal to 8 into 0.75 divided by 5. So 8 into 0.75 is 6. So 6 by 5 implies 1.2. So x is 1.2. Now just in case you were wondering how I did this so fast. It is 8 into 0.75. 0.75 is 3 by 4, right? So 4 1s are, 4 2s are, 2 3s are 6. That's how I got this. Right? So 6 by 5, that is 1.2. That is your x. All right. So this is part 3 on lecture on ratio and proportions. If you found this video helpful, do like it, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. I'd also appreciate it if you told your friends about it on Facebook and help me reach as many students as possible. Cheers. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get notification of any videos that I release. I make new videos every Thursday. Until then, Spread the knowledge.